Hello guys, it's MegmaXT40 here, and so today we are going to be only showing you how you can make an actually working security camera in Minecraft with no mods and no add-ons, which means this is 100% vanilla Minecraft. Now, this, it may seem a little tricky at first, but I'll be showing you seven instructions, but... This is, per but not only that, I am going to be also showing you around my Minecraft world. And also, I'm going to also be um, telling you a little bit about the channel. Now, I'm not going to just be doing gaming videos. Right now, I'm going to be doing gaming videos. Only because it's winter and there's not much I can do. But, like, in the summer and, like, l late spring, we are going to do treasure hunting, metal detecting, and maybe even some fishing. It's going to be exciting. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you enjoy this, make sure you smash the like, smash the comment, smash the subscribe button. And if you're new, and smash that notification button if you want to see any new videos. Now, if we just wait until this thing is done generating, it takes a little bit. So, like, if, if you're realizing that these videos are all starting off like this, that's because... I, I'm not I'm not that much new, I'm very new to this. Also, I'm not I'm I'm very different than other Minecraft YouTubers. Okay, we are here now. Hey, dude, you're not allowed in here. You're not. Yes, thank you. Wait, I didn't spawn you. I don't know. There must be a village nearby. Anyway, there, there's like we have like this um, map of the terrain. We got a Nether portal, and over here we have like a little area that we have like we, it's like a competition. People stand right here. You have to take your items and you have to chuck it onto the blue ice. It slides over and see whoever gets the better range. Better range. We got a little village over here that I made, and as you can notice, these guys are just like, oh, watch this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna try to see what happens when I jump in these to the fries. I'm hang on. Oh, villagers, I. <laughs> hey, dude, you guys got to wake up. It's raining out. You seriously think it's funny? Okay. All right. Now over here, as you go, ooh, a vending machine. Nice. That is actually really nice. I'm. I like some coke. Now we have this right here. I have a pa little path that goes up the staircase. Go to another path, and sooner or later, yeah, we have this right here, which is my beautiful house. It's a very modern design house. I, I'm not much of a like super high tech visitor, but I'm also going to show you my mine, which is just over here. I. I did not build that. It has Ildra banners on it. I don't know what this is. Wait a minute. There's different colored, um... There's different colored... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I think I'm going to raid that in a different video. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that. If you want to see me and maybe a friend of mine can like raid that thing and figure out what the point in the world that was for. Now, if we come on up here, <clears throat> you're going to realize this right here. First off, this right here is actually really cool. As you notice, this redstone is connected to this command block. I'll just give you a sneak peek right here. Now, like, I'm going to, first off, I'd like you guys to please take a screenshot or pause the video if you want to type this into a command block. Also, you're going to want to keep this thing on repeat and need redstone and con unconditional. And you're going to have to have this set up right here. And then also, you're going to want to do the exact same thing, but with a different command block and do set up this command right here. Again, pause it and it's the exact same and you set up the exact same way. Now, what does this thing do, if you ask me? If I get this, my crossbow of multi-shot. Now, I my thing is right now on here, so watch this while I shoot this at the ground. Cal, do you mind if I chest run you? Oh! Cal, I'm so sorry. I 
a moment of silence for the cow. Okay. Now what now this one basically does a similar effect. Now if I get rid of this one, this right here and, and connect this one, watch this why I shoot it completely upward. Like it. Ah! <laughs> no, that was looks very very cool. That ooh. Look what I did. Alright, I need to get rid of this. There, I got rid of this, this ugly, that ugly fire. Alright, so we have this right here, which is pretty much a little lamp. So that I will make, a, like, a, that will make some lights, lighting coming over. And, like, this is my lovely door. It's got a motion sensor right there, if you're wondering what that is. But, like, you like, Megma, uh-huh. Or just magma. That is not a door. That is just a glass panes right in the middle of your doorway. Well, that's where you're wrong. Watch this when I walk up to it. Boom. Look at that. Clean. What are you doing here? What in the world are you guys doing here? Oh, this is my enchantment station. We have, like, a really nice kitchen. I'll just give you a nice look, look around. Really, really nice. Got the bathroom, of course. Every house needs a bathroom. And then, like, up here. Why must there always be zombies in my house? What, what in the, I don't know what the point of the, I'm guessing this video is just about uh, lot, seeing zombies in my house. Okay. We have my room, a really nice bunk bed, and look at this. Look at this right here. That is clean right there. I'm not going to show you how to build that in this video, but on a different video, I'm going to show you that. But I'm going to right now put all my items away, so, because we are going to need a little bit of items. But first, I might as well get some sleep. <sighs> well, I'm going to need these ender pearls because I'm going to actually first show you how this thing works. Oh, you're also I'm also going to need a mob head of my choice, but you're I'm definitely going to need invisibility potion. Now, you may be wondering why you'd be needing these two items for a security camera. You'll understand why in a minute. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Creeper. How you guys doing? You doing fun? Yeah, I'm doing fun, too. Wait a minute. <gasps> Yay! It looks like a cow duplicated the two different cows. Now the population's back up. Okay. Now that we are here, I want to ask you something. Where do you think I'm hiding my secret base? Now, if you're guessing it's probably one of these trapdoors, you're correct. Mm hmm? All right, I chuck my snowball, my ender pearl. I can easily get through that chapter, door, and hopefully no one notices. No, hopefully my none of my friends watch this video now because I don't want them to know about my secret hidden base. But in here we have like a little elevator. There we are. Got a little storage unit. This is this does have my diamonds or my emeralds or any of that stuff. This basically has a, this is my hidden super rare blocks item. So, like, if you need some super duper, if I need some really good items, like some bedrock or anything, I get them here. Now, this right here is the security system. Yeah. So, you have the screens. If you're wondering what these are for, so like, this button connects to this, this screen. This one goes to this one. And finally, obviously, that one goes to that one. Now, we have this right here. These, that thing, those two things must be worn on. You have to bring some invisibility potions and some milk on you. Because otherwise, you are not going to be able to have your what you're going to need. Now, here's what you're going to do. First off, put on your mop head. Drink the invisibility potion. 
click any one of these buttons. I'm going to go to the front of my house. Boom! That, and look at that. I am invisible. No one can see me. And this is pretty much the security system there up. So, like, you would be standing right here. No one would be seeing you. All they're going to be seeing is a mob head. You were just telling that that's a security camera, and it only appears when you when you, when I'm on patrol. So basically, they'll know that I'm on searching. Which basically, this thing would be looking around, and when you see someone, I can instantly t click this command block, boom, and I'm back, and I can take f take care of the problem. Now this one goes to the back of my house. Yeah, I got a nice little campfire right there. But, like, and then, of course, this one takes me back to where I need to go. And finally, this one. Hmm. There you go. And then we got this right here. This is perfect. And then, how in the world am I standing on nothing? Well, the reason is because I am using a special block called a barrier. If Now, if you've heard of a barrier... Milk. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you first. I'll show you how to build this. Now I'm going to first get out of my secret base here, just so I can show you. I'm not gonna d take apart my secure my security system, which honestly I'm not gonna take apart anyone's security systems because I'm the only one that lives here right now. Well, unless you got the villagers and my dog, which I didn't show you. I probably should show you, but like I am going to now show you how you can build this. It's honestly pretty easy. Which also, the only kind of command blocks you're going to need, which you're not even going to need, like, some super high-tech stuff. All you're going to really need are t teleportation commands, which that is literally it. Now, I'm going to head over here because I just don't really want to bug anything that I've already... Wait, why is there a hole right here? Okay. A little bit strange. Huh. Okay, that is very weird. Why would there just be a random hole here? Well, I am on Xbox Live. You're like, how are you not playing on Xbox when you have Xbox Live? To be honest, I have no clue. But I'm just going to make us our make a makeshift room. And I'm going to show you all build this. Now, I, for one, think birch planks and white concrete really suits the modern design. This is actually the, the, these are actually the resources for my floor and my walls. Now, if I'm going to do this correctly, you're going, I'm going to just quickly build a wall right here. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Just give me a moment. I need to um make my little floor cuz honestly, I feel like this build I mean, like who in the world would build a security monitor right in the middle of the open? No one. So I'm just going to make this so it it kind of gets into the mood. And also, I like to be organized. Hmm. Alright, now that we have finished that, let's get a few of our items. We're going to need some chiseled. You don't need that block, but I like to use them. I'm going to use some dark, like, some light gray carpet. I'm going to, we are going to need some buttons. Some compowerators. A loom. Some black banners. Um, we don't need any of that. We're also going to need some um, white dye. We're also going to need some blocks that you cannot get in the creative inventory. If you are thinking about the command block and the barrier, that is correct. But 
if you don't know how to use them, this is pretty easy. Now, you just need to go into your chat. Go, go into your chat and once you type in slash give space at p space command underscore. If you look at that, the underscore is pretty much a line connecting to them, but it's very low. And then no space block. Now hit enter in. <laughs> we have command blocks now. Now we're also going to be needing some barriers. So go back into your chat. Type in slash give space at p space barrier. There we go. Now here's how we're going to set this up. First off, we're going to go to the back here, like. One block down, one block, place a command block. We're going to want to crouch, place a button, and go, if you go to the other side here, we're going to place a chiseled block, and we're going to need to put a comparator, but with the, prong, the two prongs facing towards the command block. Now, you're going to take your barriers. You're going to place one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Now, you're going to do this one more level up, but don't do the ones in the middle. Now, if you exit that block, boom, you can't see them. And, like, if you stand, if you play on, you can notice that you have some blocks right here. And, basically, this has you to be able to look around and no one would think that you, someone is there. Now, how is this going to solve, fix all the problems? Let me show you. Now, my setup, you're going to place a command block. And, once again, put the button on it and place a comparator. You're going to place... I'm going to place one, two, one, two, one, two, one, ah! one, two, and done. Now I'm going to place some light gray, some of this. I just like, I want to do this just so I can, it can, it kind of hides the command blocks. It kind of, kind of messes with the tone. Alright, now that we are done with this, we are going to need a special banner design. So place down your loop. You're going to want to place the black banner and your white die, and you're going to want to use the white bodu. <laughs> Every single time I say that, it's just hilarious. Then you're also going to need this right here. And then why would we be needing this? You'll figure out in a second. Now, if we get rid of that and we get some bookshelves. You don't need bookshelves, but I honestly think it'll be nice. No, I do not want it to be night, dates, daytime, please. Thank you. Now, we're going to break one, two. Now, actually, leave that straightforward. You're also going to want these two straightforward, but a little bit dented towards you. And we're going to want to break those blocks. And I might as well break this one and switch it with, switch it with this. I think I want, I want to make this look good. Mm. Alright. But, like, look, that looks really, that looks lo really legit. Now, if we get rid of some of our items here, here is what you are going to need to get this all to work. Now, you are going to need to make sure your coordinates are on. If your coordinates are not on, then you are going to have a serious problem. Now, how do you get your coordinates on? Go into your settings. Into your settings. Scroll down until you find show coordinates and turn that on. Now, these numbers will be different, different, but depending on your Minecraft world. Now, it, listen. When the numbers I'm using, do not write my numbers. I Sorry guys, my dad's using some heavy heart hard working tools. That's why I'm trying to make sure I don't hear any of that, but anyway, you're going to want to use your coordinates on your game, not mine. 
So, like, if, let's say, though these are my numbers, but your numbers are different. That doesn't mean that you can't do the build. Your Any coordinates will work. Now, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a sheet of paper in real life, not in Minecraft, and a piece and a pencil. This is how you can remember your coordinates. Now, you're going to want to stand right in front of your command block. Now, you see the numbers have changed. Write down those three numbers. So, I got... Great, my pencil's broken. Hang on, guys. <sighs> if you dislike this um noise, I under I can I I understand it oh wait, there's a pencil right here. Never mind. There you go, it works. Okay. Five we got I have five hundred thirty one seventy negative seventy three. Alright. <clears throat> Now we're going to get, grab our barriers. That's why I haven't got them, uh, them from my inventory. Now you're going to go right here. Now write down those numbers. Type, oh, I have 5, 3, 6, 73, negative 71. All right. That's all we're going to need. Literally, that's it. It's super easy. <clears throat> No, enter your command block. You do not need to change any of this, the block type condition or redstone. You just need to go into here. You're going to type in slash tp space at p space. Now write down your second coordinate number. That's the one that you need to go to. So I have 536 space 73 space negative. 71 like so now exit your command block and if you hit this button boom look at that you're back now you're going to need to do the similar command but different coordinates now go back into here slash tp space at p space 531 space 70 space 73 Yes, and now if you hit this number, you're back to where you came from. Now, how is this the security kit system? You're going to need a barrel, a mob head. I think the dragon head looks best, and an invisibility potion. It may seem pretty expensive to use, but it makes sense. It'll make sense. So I'm going to just place the mob head there, and like I'll place the potion in there. So that is. That's all you're going to need. Alright. So, like, basically, he's like, alright, I need my thing. So, you go place in your, your, um, your dragon head. Take the invisibility potion. Drink it. And then you're also going to need the milk to get rid of the invisibility once you're done using it. So, basically, click on the bucket. You're then here. You make sure you're not holding anything. You're completely invisible. You can look around, and if I go into first person here, just hang on a second. Now, like, doesn't that does that not look like a security camera right there? That looks super good, like a security camera. I mean, like the mob head is kind of like the shape of a security camera. And, like, you can be watching people, and people are not going to know that you're there. And, of course, the milk, if you drink it, the, your invisibility is gone. So, that is the security system. But how cool is that? A security system. So, you know, I'm pretty sure you know some people that come into your world and steal your diamonds. I'm not going to have any names or anything. But you know who those kind of people are, and you definitely want to stop them. So that build is definitely something you want to do. Also, this this will work. It doesn't matter how many screens you can. You can literally have millions of screens. But make sure they're one block away from my command block. So you cannot go like this. No, it has to be one block command block. It has to be spaced out. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now then. Now that we have that completely finished out, 
And I'm that means one thing guys. I hope this that means it's the end of today's video. I told you how the security about the security system. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this, smash the like, smash the comments, and subscribe button if you're new, and smash that notification button in, if you want to see any new videos. Now, I think I should do a like goal for for today's video. Now, hey, Mr. Piggy, what do you think the like goal should be? <laughs> okay, he is not going to, he does not want to, he, obviously he's a disliker. Hey, Mr. Cow. Okay. Alright, I think I should talk to my dwarf. Okay, I'm pretty sure my wolf will be the only person that's actually going to say something because it hey, won't keep turning my back today. Jeez. Mr. Wolf, make my pup, how are you doing? You hungry? Yeah? Guys, a girl, girl. Yeah, you a girl, girl. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Here, take your food. Take your food. That's a good girl. <clears throat> All right. Now, what do you think should we have the light, the light goal for today, little pup? Ten likes. That's that's a good that's good for me. All right. But you heard the pup. Ten likes on today's video. That is the goal for today. Which, if we do manage to do that, what I'm going to do. I will try and get my friend on over here, and I'm going to try and maybe, I don't know, do some pranks on him, maybe? Maybe prank him. Obviously, we don't know, but I don't really want to prank him, but maybe, if maybe not, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. They're like, this, that would be very interesting to know notice that but hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this you know what you have to do 10 likes on this video now with that being said make my out